In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can total up numbers in Microsoft Excel. Here I have a spreadsheet where I have the number of TV sales for 2012 and 2011. And I want to put the total number of TV sales for each year in uh, these total boxes at the bottom. Now, uh, the more tedious way to total up these numbers would be if I put in the equal sign and then did uh, B2 plus B3 plus B4. And then I would do that for all of the numbers for, uh, for all the cells in the year. And obviously, like I said, that would be a, a bit tedious to put in all those different additions. So instead, I can use the, the sum formula. So I'll do equals sum, open parentheses. And then I will click and drag the range that I want to total up, which would be B2 through B13. And then I'm going to close the parentheses and hit enter. And here you can see that I sold 455 TVs in 2012. Uh, another way to do it would be using the, the auto sum feature. Uh, you'll find uh, the sigma, the Greek letter, the sigma button up here for auto sum. It's under the, the home tab. If you go into the cell right below the group of numbers that you want to total up and click the, the sigma button, it will automatically select the range of numbers above uh, above your cell. And as you can see, it, uh, it highlighted my column heading 2012. Um, again, that's, that's year 2012, my column heading, but the reason why it highlighted it is because it saw it as a number. But while my range is highlighted, I can re-click and drag uh, B2 through B13 to fix my formula and then hit enter. Now I'm going to do the same thing for 2011. I'm going to uh, go into the cell below uh, my group of numbers and I'm going to click the, the, the auto sum button. And because I don't have all of the TV sales for June and August, I have those cells blank and uh, it auto detected just up to September, up to the blank. So again, I can uh, re-click and drag to do the total. Now there's a way that you can use a sum formula for numbers, groups of numbers that are not next to each other. What you can do is you can click and drag your first range and then hit comma and then click and drag on your second range which is just going to be July for me and then hit comma and then click and drag another range and uh, so you can see that it's doing C2 through C6 and then C8, and then C10 through C13, and then hit enter, and it'll total up uh, those three different ranges of numbers. Uh, now in the future, I'm going to be entering in June and July for TV sales, so it would be a better idea if I just went ahead and highlighted the whole range, including the blanks. So now if I add the TV sales for June, my, uh, my formula will automatically update. And those are a few different ways that you can total numbers in Microsoft Excel. Thank you.